good morning students today we are going to learn about python but before learning python we must get to know that how to install python into our computer system so let's start it open any web browser in your computer system now directly go to the url and start typing python.org after typing this press enter now python website will get open in front of you if i go to downloads then one option will get enable automatically download for windows python 3.8.2 once i click upon this option automatically python will start get downloading at the bottom of your screen now this downloaded files extension is .exe basically this is an executable file once it will get download you have to run it into your computer system so that you can go through with the process of installing python i hope i am clear students after this once it will get download automatically python folder will be created into the program list now let's see as i am operating in windows 8.1 so this is the procedure over here now let's move yeah it is here this is python 3.8 this is a complete folder where i am getting four options as idle then python 3.832 bit then python 3.8 manuals then python 3.8 module docs to start python i need to click upon the very first option idle python 3.8 32 bit press enter just a sec is getting open yeah now it is opened in front of me so the very first window after clicking on idle python 3.8 this window will appear this is the first window this is known as python shell another name of this window is python interactive mode basically python works upon two types of modes one is interactive and second is script so the very first window is known as interactive mode and the another window let me show you how to get it open just go to file option click on file after then click on new file another window will get open in front of you this window is known as a script mode now my second question is that if i have an interactive mode then why is it necessary to work upon script mode or my question can be in this way that what is the difference between interactive mode and script mode now here is the answer if i type any command over here like 3 plus 4 press enter i will get the result side by side that means as soon as i'll press the enter i'll get the result on the spot and in this way i may see that my python interactive mode is working like a calculator where i am typing my operator and my operand after pressing enter i am getting a result the same thing happens in our calculators too but if i type anything like this 3 plus 4 over here and press enter what is happening nothing but the way to execute my script mode is go to run option click upon the very first option by the name run module f5 it will ask you to save the file click on okay now i am typing the file name over here so let's say p1 dot py 
once you are going to save your file in the script mode then you must give the extension as .py otherwise it will not be stored as a python file now let's click upon save after clicking on save what is happening the pointer is has automatically shifted onto my interactive mode but after shifting it over there also i am not getting any type of result now let's start again if i modify my statement in this way i have written one keyword print in the brackets i am writing 3 plus 4 now let's see what is happening press f5 key from your keyboard click on okay now as you can see on my interactive mode I am getting the result as seven, which is the addition of three and four. Now, students try to understand the difference between interactive mode and script mode. On the script mode, once you are typing any command, after pressing the enter, you will get the result on the spot. But in the script mode, you have to write the command. then you have to save it after saving it you need to execute it and the interpreter will execute it and show your result onto your interactive mode back so this is the very basic difference between these two modes another differences are like as you can see on your interactive mode there are there is a command prompt are you able to see my mouse pointer here is my mouse pointer and i am selecting this this is my command prompt which is shown in the form of three greater than symbol but as you can see into your script mode there is no such command prompt so your interactive mode works upon the command prompt and your script mode doesn't work upon it second difference we have talked about that interactive mode gives you the result there and then but your script mode doesn't give you the result there and then instead we need to save it and execute it properly then only you can see the result next difference is as you can see that i have typed the command over here and i am getting the result but there is no save option as such onto your interactive mode so nothing can be saved over here which means we are completely working upon the temporary memory nothing is permanent over here but as you can see in your script mode whatever you are writing whatever you are typing whether it will work whether it will not work but still you need to save each and every thing so here you are working upon the permanent memory the next difference interactive mode is occupying the less memory space as we all can see and we have uh, learnt also that interactive mode is working upon the temporary memory so temporary memory does not consume much space this is for the temporary time being but in the script mode once we are writing the command and saving it it's occupying the memory space into our memory and once the interpreter is executing it and displaying the result onto my interactive mode then again the memory has been utilized which means that my script mode is occupying the memory space twicely in the memory so there is more memory consumption in script mode so students i hope i am clear with the differences between interactive mode and script mode let's move on <coughs> i can show you another examples as well like if i type as i have typed the command print of 3 plus 4 into my script mode the same command i can type over here as well in this way now just see again i am getting the same result on my interactive mode so the result i'll be getting same whether i am typing on my interactive mode or on to my script mode there is only a change in a way of working and it depends upon the requirement as well that which work you need to save it 
if i want to work upon the save mode then i must use my script mode in my interactive mode nothing is permanent nothing is uh, nothing i can save over here so i need to type all the commands again and again but here in the script mode once i have created any program i need to save it again but i can directly execute it over here so this is again a difference between them or i can say this is the basic advantage of using script mode that i can once type my program i need not to type it again and again i can directly execute it so it saves my time as well okay uh, students i guess this is enough for the day thank you so much thanks for devoting your time over here thank you